Keep coming. Keep coming. Lovely. Come on. Come on. That'll do. Ian Lee may be a self-declared Xbox man with a regular column on the Microsoft network, but he was just as interested as we were to hear that there was a potential fix for the PS3 yellow light of death. We set up our repair van outside Sony's London headquarters, and inside, independent console repairers Mark and Neil set to work straight away. We need one more PlayStation. We've got two chaps in there. Let's give them that. Now, when did this one break? August. August. OK, we've got another one for you fellas. Are you seeing many of these PlayStations that are faulty? We've seen a couple hundred so far. Really? Yes. And it's the same thing every time, is it? Same thing every time. How long does it take you to fix one of these normally? About 30 minutes. We were filming the street. While Sony oh. security worries about our cameras on the street outside, Mark and Neil say they finished their first machine. OK, first one. Let's have a look. Hey, it's working. That's your PlayStation. They fixed that, it. That, see, that's the game that was stuck in it. Jamie Narborough is hoping we can repair his PS3 as well, so he can retrieve some precious photos of his graduation and school trips that were stuck on the hard drive. Once that yellow light came on, he couldn't get at them. Can we, can we have a look? Because Jamie has got some very important photos in here. Yes. Berlin trip, car show. There they go, man. There's oh, your photos. Yes. How are you feeling? Excellent. I just can't believe they're back. It's incredible. You thought they were gone forever? I thought I'd lost them, and it's like such important to me, you know, like graduation, Berlin trip. I'll never do these things again in my life, and now I've gone back. It's great. Every 15 minutes, another machine comes out working. It's a fully working PlayStation 3! <laughs> Our engineers got all 11 consoles they saw working again and all fixed in exactly the same way.